what happened against Mugi. Oddfield taking him out by having some solid picks and playing well to back that up. So here we go. Josh and I will take it away here for this upper bracket semifinal. Adriel versus Mohamed Light. Adriel gonna go in with the high mother witch, just starting off a little bit aggressive. Monk is going to be able to cross the bridge, but not going to get that much value. The giant skeleton plus the fisherman plus everything going to be able to take out the mother witch. And this is gonna be kind of a scary push. That is a lot of elixir on Adriel's side that is just wasted. And you were waiting for it. I mean, yes, Moogie used it a little bit, but it wasn't with you, so it doesn't really count. Uh, and so now we're seeing the Royal Hawks get played on the board for the first time today technically second time I'll, ta I'll take it I'll take the L on that one but what not taking the L here is Adriel who somehow not only defends all that keeps the giant skeleton bomb off the board and ends up only down about half an elixir and so I love this no fireball and cycle it, it's gonna that's gonna be a lot of damage the difference it, 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 it's not like, I mean, yes, it's a massive difference just between the levels being level 11 and level 12, but if there's one card that just does so much more damage, so much better of a card, when it's mirrored, it's those Royal Hogs. They get, get this, it gets the tower down to 1661. And here we go, fireball for the Zappies. The Fisherman maybe kind of playing spoiler here as it pulls the Zappy in closer, lead now back for Adriel. Right now, it's just body blow after body blow for these two and the lead now has changed back and forth multiple times looks like the lead might go heavily in the favor of mohammed light here as just not very much to contend with this tower down and adriel leaving a lot on the board here yeah i think that might be considered a mistake on adriel's side you have 50 seconds left you still have the opportunity to get multiple rgs on the board you can reset but you know your opponent is taking out the tower. You don't need to log plus E Spirit when a tower is already going down. So kind of a, kind of just a massive error. And now he just doesn't have enough time. It, it was going to be kind of easy for Muhammad Light to defend regardless, but it just made it easier when he wasted that three elixir. So game number one goes the way of Mohammed Light. Adriel has a lot to think about here as we go into game number two. Not really worried about the Luminary Minor MK Prince deck, although there could be a variation play that's non-Arrows on Adriel's side. Hog available, but of course, log preferable there. And right there, he's using the RG without the Tombstone. And so if he had the Tombstone, that deck could have, or that matchup could have been flipped entirely. He just sets up with multiple Tombstones, gets the Fireball. But even still, you know, even without the building, if he just plays a little bit slower, there's, uh, Muhammad Light's so gifted because he's played every matchup a hundred times. And it, there's something about the way his, his brain is wired where he just memorizes the matchup. It was pretty clear that the way he played it, he knew what he was supposed to do. He can give up early damage. He can give up medium damage just because he knows those kind of attacks are going to be so deadly and so hard to stop. Drill versus Hog. So we're seeing the rare situation where Adriel doesn't run a Hog deck. And obviously not having Log available for your Hog deck definitely hurts it a lot. But rare situation for Adriel who primarily plays hog on ladder and has run it in almost every dual deck set throughout this competition gonna get some nice damage though from the royal ghost on the right hand side yeah both players getting about 500 chip damage on top of the towers we have hog quick cycle archer queen earthquake going against drill no big spell so this drill deck it's probably just gonna be giant skeleton it could be a dark prince as well and uh yeah we do see the cannon cart so Still kind of looking like both of those could be played. Is the Tornado in cycle? For a second, I thought he missed that Tornado. It was a little bit early, but it's going to be a-okay. Still defending, and both players kind of just resetting, kind of just waiting for double elixir. Neither player really wants to get that aggressive right now. Very important for Adriel to manage this cycle well because he does get around a lot more slowly than Mohammed Light. And of course, NATO, the primary counter, and Mo got to be very happy that he's playing the Valk variation in this matchup. 
and and so right there right before double elixir he can get kind of aggressive because you have that double elixir incoming i i love that he went in with the drill and i was wondering why he went in the drill with no counter attack just because it didn't make sense your opponent had guards he had valk so but if you're going to go in with a magic archer chip damage i just love how he uh, approached that situation and this time drill plus ewiz comes out on defense so a little variety out of Adriel forced in this situation to make that happen. Cannon card goes to the right-hand side, taken care of very easily by the guards. 22-12 to 21-10, and now it's Muhammad Light going into that right-hand lane and switching up this conversation. GG, well played. Another good tornado, and this is where it gets really fun. With, or going into, uh, it going into overtime, his King Tower is just as low as his Crown Tower. And so this has happened before where players have to stop tornadoing the Hog to the King Tower, where they have to switch it up. I've, I've seen this. I think it was Pandora who had this situation, uh, you know, several months ago. And it, it is so funny when players no longer uh, tornado the Hog to the King Tower because that's just not an opportunity anymore. 1572, a little crack in the armor here for Adriel and Muhammad Light now starting to pull away and Adriel being forced to stack a bit more in this left hand lane troops wise no longer the same ability to go to the left and you do see here nadoing back and the ewiz has to come out yeah if the ewiz is forced out i don't think you can make that play i think he probably should have had that lock onto the king tower right there magic archer not placed too high and he's going to be able to protect it but no E was in cycle, and so the Magic Archer is going to be able to be taken out by the Inferno Tower. And again, just more hog pressure, another hog on top of the King Tower, and Ice Spirit chip damage. Muhammad Light is just dominating in this game, and he's playing it so well. Lane switch into the weak side from Adriel. Valkyrie going to work here. Nice log from Muhammad Light to reset that, art, that Magic Archer, plus the Earthquake. So no magic archer damage, the log plus EQ takes it off the board. And that was just some of the, you know, you talk about the, the genius of Muhammad Light, that was some of the small genius that we see from him. Wow, oh. wow, oh, Infernal boy. Tower takes out the Golden Knight entirely. That, I have not seen that possibly ever. That is devastating for Adriel. And at this point, he was plus Golden Knight. Yes, you're gonna be able to stop the Hawk from getting the shot, but yes, it doesn't matter. What a flawless game. That might be the best game I've seen from him uh, in a long time and we see special games from him every single day. And Whoa. there's a low, oh my wow. word, that was so close. <laughs> wow. The, the nice high guards to control the Golden Knight. The NATO does not create a lineup, but the, the Ewiz plus the pop from the drill nearly <laughs> takes it, and Mo just goes, 